Good morning. I think we're right on time. It's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock on Thursday. Thursday, September something. 19th. September 19th. September 19th, we are live. 2019. Yes, 9 19 19. And if you're watching us on YouTube, we do live on Instagram. Thursday mornings. Thursday mornings. And that's why the picture is all wonky. It's not side to side. So just so you know. And if you want to see the wonderful comments, join us on Instagram. Then you got to join us on Instagram. Um, yeah. But if you're watching on YouTube, then like, comment, and subscribe. because, And watch the whole thing, the whole hour. Yeah. Yeah, because there's really important stuff that comes out at the end. Yeah. You should watch till the end. How's everybody doing this morning? Ugh. How are you doing this morning? This has been a crazy morning, which was just, um, I got a weird hair thing going. Um, so do I. Which has is kind of foreshadowing to the crazy day that we have today anyway. <sighs> so trying to calm a little bit. I didn't even think I needed the coffee this morning. Not that I would pass on it. No, you were wound for sound when I got up this morning. Yes, you I were was. Wound for sound. Whew. Yes, I woke up and my phone had blown up all night long. Even more so than usual. Hey there, Sue. How are you this morning? So, yes, um, we have a crazy busy day mm -hmm. planned for today. We have this. I have a group call this morning. And then our son is doing a World War II reenactment this mm -hmm. weekend. And a lot of last minute so, running around. Yes. So, oh, by the way, Mom, I need this tomorrow. And they have it at a store that's an hour away. Yeah. So let's just run over there and just drop it. drop everything. Yes. Yeah, and then I need this form notarized. Why did you give me this mug? The early bird mug? Um, I don't know. I got evil genius at work, so, you know. Um, yeah, n fabulous. I'm not actually going to pass on the coffee. I just could have. Uh, fail For the win, missed you guys. So glad you're back. Lovely. Oh, hope you have lots and lots of shipping to do this morning. Yeah, we had a good day. Yeah, we had a good day yesterday. Mm -hmm. Having a good day this morning already. Yep. Good day across multiple sites, so. Yep. So, let's get into it. Let's do it. Yes. Should, should I get um, my hat? Your tinfoil hat? Maybe. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so, my phone blew up overnight mm -hmm. because there was a um, YouTuber who put out a video um, saying that promoted listings are killing your sales. Dun, dun, dun. Um, do you drink your coffee black? No. With just a tiny bit of Splenda in it. How do you know they're asking you? Uh, Matt drinks his coffee black. So, there. So it doesn't matter. It's all about me. Uh, so, yeah. So, they put out that promoted listings were killing your sales mm -hmm. and that something had happened recently that was causing promoted listings to be the cause for your reduction in sales. Mm -hmm. So, I suppose we should start by saying we have not seen any reduction in sales. We're not seeing... And we do run promoted listings. We run promoted listings against 90% of our... 99% of our items. Mm -hmm. We have not seen any reduction in sales, in search velocity, click-through rates, none of that. No, and you but, asked several people who you were coaching. Yes. Run, run some numbers for me, and nobody has seen a reduction. In their promoted listings campaign. Yeah. So, who was it? I mean, I guess I can say it's public, um, and... You know, you can go and watch his video then and mm -hmm. um, kind of judge for yourself. Uh, it was the auction professor. Um, so, you know, like you don't have to trust us. You don't have to trust him. You should always mm -hmm. take all of the information and then make your own decisions. So what he said was that if a potential buyer has an ad blocker, so an ad blocker set up on their computer or on their mobile device that your listings then, if you are promoting them, are not being shown. So that then would cause you not to get sales. 
So that's a pretty big statement. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a pretty big statement. So what I did this morning was I talked to some people that are in my groups. Um, and then I talked to some longtime eBay sellers on Facebook Kind of trying to dive into... Yeah, what's the validity of this statement? Yeah, is this something that like we all need to go in and abandon promoted listings? Because that's what he's saying, is abandon promoted listings. Mm -hmm. So, um, Bex Relics, who I just saw in the chat, uh, I was talking with her this morning. She showed me that this is at not actually new news. Um... They, they were talking about it on a Reddit forum. They This was actually brought up on a Reddit forum in July. So this ad blocker blocking some promoted listings has been going on for months. So if you've just seen a recent drop in sales, then... Probably not because of the ad blocker. Probably not because of the ad blocker. Not that there couldn't be something else going on in the site. Right. We're not saying that. We're just saying it's probably not from ad blockers. Right. Because this isn't something new. So then we dove into a little bit more of, okay, what do these ad blockers really do? How are they acting? How is search reacting to them? Mm -hmm. And it, so it's important to know how promoted listings work first. So when you use promoted listings on eBay, those promoted listings are showing up only in best match search. Which means when you type something into the search bar and you just hit enter. Yes, that gets you best match. Yep. How it is, at least how it's supposed to work. Now again, not that eBay doesn't ever throw a wrench into the system, but how, how it is supposed to work um, is then if your buyer goes in and selects lowest price, mm -hmm. Promoted listings no longer. They don't show up at all. It's not an issue. Mm -hmm. They search newly listed, ending soonest, if they're searching auctions. None of that matters. Um, I did a poll on here a while back for how most people are searching. And most people were searching lowest price. Yeah, I'm just, you keep talking. I'm going to just check. Um, so that being the case, um, wouldn't be an issue anyway so then we go to okay ad blockers this does not seem to be affecting if you just like firefox has a built-in ad blocker within that whatever that ad blocker not blocking promoted listings um just so just like a general ad blocker not blocking promoted listings. This is ad blockers that are additional add-ons to your web browser. So like a third party, you bought it and paid for it. Um, lowest price shows higher prices as well. well. Yeah, and I just looked on, on the app on the phone mm -hmm. and I, I ran a search for, I just searched jacket. Uh -huh. And several top posts were promoted listing. Mm -hmm. Then I sorted ending soonest. Mm -hmm. No more promoted listings were shown. Yeah. So that's how it's supposed to work. So as soon as you run, as soon as you start messing with the search, sorting by ending soonest, lowest whatever, price, lowest whatever. price, the promoted listing thing's out the window anyways. Yeah. So so now we're talking about buyers who are searching within best match mm -hmm. who have purchased a ad blocker in addition to whatever is just coming with their web browser. So we're on to a very small, probably subset of the population to begin with. But okay, that's still people that you're missing out on, right? Like right. that's still are those. So then I had um, someone search for our listings who has an ad blocker. So they don't see all of those promoted listings. And that's true. Um, they don't see those promoted listings. But that didn't mean that my listings weren't showing up. They still came up organically. My listings are our listings. No, you're, they're all your listings. Um, 
still showed up organically and actually were at the top of search. We were in the very first placement on every one of her searches organically. Yeah. So promoted listings were not showing, but that didn't mean that it was limiting search results, meaning that when you do a regular search with promoted listings, there's 100 items there, 15 of them are promoted, 85 are organic. When they when she did this, there's still 100 listings. They're just all organic. Well, and I think what where the confusion is coming in, why people are losing it, is eBay came out on this last update, the fall update, and they said, your item's only going to be seen once. Prior, if you ran a promoted listing and yes. someone searched your item, yes. your item could technically come up right it always after up each, each other twice. Yes. Promoted and just a regular organic listing. Yes. eBay said in the fall update, no more. You're only going to come up once. You're either going to come up organically or you're going to come up promoted listing. Yes. So people who are putting money into promoted listings are thinking, well, my item is not going to be seen because... If I've got promoted listings on and people are having ad blockers, but that's not entirely true because your item is still going to come up organically. It's just not going to come up both. It's going to come up one way or the other. So if that person is blocking promoted listings, mm -hmm. then all search results have to be organic. Yeah. And your, your item will still come up organically. Yes. Now, what promoted listings does for you is it might put you on the first page where organically you mm -hmm. might be number 500. Right. So. But it's not completely pulling you out of search. And I think that's where a little bit of confusion is. I think people are feeling like, oh my God, my item's not even going to be seen at all because yes. these ad blockers are pulling it out of search. And that's not true. At, from what we are seeing. From what we were saying, correct. So, um, you know, that could be yeah. somebody else could say, no, you know, I'm only seeing 15 items because everybody else had their items promoted. Um, that's just not what we are seeing. So I think that anytime you see something like this, you got to take a breath. Yeah. And then you have to look at, okay, this has been around since July. So at least... And assumably, it was probably going on before that. Mm -hmm. It was probably since the beginning of promoted listings. Because what happens is those ad blockers key in on the word sponsored. So they have been keying in on the word sponsored probably since the beginning of promoted listings. Right. And pulling out those listings. So if you have never had success with promoted listings, then... Yeah, promoted listings probably aren't for you. If you have rare, unique items that there are only 20 in search results anyway, you probably don't need them. If you have common items and promoted listings have proven to be successful for you, then I don't think anything has changed with promoted listings. So we're not saying there's not something else going on. We're not saying there isn't some other reason right. why your sales have gone down. Because. That, that's entirely possible. That's entirely possible. It's a totally different conversation. Just, <coughs> I don't think it has to do with promoted listings. And, and this ad blocker removing Issue. them. Yeah. Because if it was, then we would have all seen this drop months ago. Mm -hmm. Whenever this actually came into play. Well, and you, you just have to look at your store and your sales and and just see yeah. i run promoted listings but x amount of my sales are sold organically or you know i'm not selling anything on promoted listings yeah no matter what i do so at that point who cares don't Turn use don't use promoted listings i mean yeah or if you're seeing in order to sell through promoted listings i have to be at some absurd percentage and then i'm not making a profit anymore yeah. That's an issue also. Yeah. Um, then, you know, you have to figure that out. But um, because not a lot of people are going to watch us, it is what it is. Oh, boy. It just is what it is. Oh, boy. Um, there are going to be a lot of people that jump out of promoted listings. Mm -hmm. um, they'll just immediately, they're gone, which is fine. And that's absolutely your decision to make. And you test your own theories and whatever. 
But for those of us who decide to stay in, mm -hmm. that percentage that you have to pay to get on the first page just went down. Mm -hmm. Because your competition to be on the first page just went down. Yeah. So I'm not going to pull out of promoted listings, but am I going to reduce the amount of money I'm giving eBay today? <laughs> you betcha. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because absolutely. lots of people are, are saying, nope, I'm not going to do it anymore. Yeah. I'm because on. I'm concerned about this and I want to test and see, you know, what would my sales be like without it? And that's, you should test every thing that you see on your own store. Um, I was only promoting at 1% anyway, so I'm seeing if it helps me to turn it off, not because of the ad block thing though, M. Grace. Yeah, test it and see. You know, there's always a lot of blanket advice um, and it may or may not apply to your individual situation. Well, and, and again, you, you have to look at this logically you know, the ad blocker thing is pulling the promoted listing. How many people are using web browsers with ad blockers? Yeah. These paid ad blockers. How many people are buying off just the app? How many people, you know, I mean. Yeah. So really, is it really affecting? How big is the impact? You know, I mean. Sorry, I just joined. When, uh, so people, Katie Closet, um, people are saying that this has already started. And that that is the reason why their sales have tanked over the last few days. Um, Matt, your tinfoil hat would be very appropriate today. We did have I, I, a conversation about if we should just wear tinfoil hats I was going to wear one. Yep. Um, so, so, yeah, and then you have to look at this from eBay's perspective. eBay makes a lot of money off of promoted listings. A lot of money. Um, so, are they going to do something that causes those promoted listings not to sell? It doesn't make sense from their right. perspective. From a business standpoint? From a business standpoint, from how much money Devin Winnig gets to put in his pocket today, it does not make sense. If we all see something, you better believe that they know it. Yeah. That they've seen it. Um, so... I don't think that they're doing anything that's going to take money out of their pocket. Um, Thread Envy Online, my sales are up and a lot through promoted listings, so I'm not worried. Uh, Bex Relics, Reddit guy said, yes, yeah, sponsored is in the code. Um, so maybe there's some sort of change that happened this week. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Um, Prosperous Mom says, I use promoted listings and my sales have been amazing the past few days. That's just it. Like if it was if it was a widespread problem mm -hmm. and we were all in the same boat, then all of us who use promoted listings would all be having the same issue. E Experience the same thing. Absolutely. So and, and again, you just have to and you, stuff we say. Test it. Test it. Absolutely. Because we're not tested. looking at your business right now. We're not looking at your store. I don't know what you sell, what you list, what your pricing strategy is. I don't know any of that. This is just general. Yeah. So just don't be reactionary when you hear yes. claims. Test it. Look at look at your numbers. I mean, we're all different businesses. We all run different, sell different items, different yes. percentages. Different campaigns. You yes. have to test it. Um, Reseller Project says, I think some ad blocking tools are updating to block them. Absolutely. And I, I agree with that. Yeah. I can't see promoted listings. Yes. But you should still be able to see those same items organically. Mm -hmm. So just because they are blocking the, the promoted, promoted listing. listings does not necessarily mean that then your item can't be seen at all. Because the woman that I had tested, she could still see my listings. She could just only see them organically, which is actually great for me. Yeah, because you're not having to pay a promoter listing fee. Because, on. yeah, then if she buys my item, she, I don't pay that extra fee on it. So I hope everyone goes and gets the app blocker. Um, plus size pretty shop says sales are up with promoted listings. So there might be an upside to the changes. Yeah, so... 
everybody's seeing different results. But I would say instead of just looking at your sales, go and look at your promoted listing campaign and look to see, have you seen a significant dip in the impressions, click-through rates, and sales coming from your promoted listings campaign? Understand there will be a dip for today because it's only yeah, 9.15 in the morning. Yeah, we don't have sales for today, right. Um, but look at the last month, you know, or just the last four days. Did it go from here to here all of a sudden? Then that's an issue with the promoted listing campaign. That's not looking at your sales overall. We're just talking about promoted listings and the impact that they make. Um, but will organically be shown as frequently Bex Relics. In theory, your item should show up once in search. No matter what, organically promoted. Yes. Someone searches your item, it will show up. Now, where it shows up, you know, if I'm selling something that there's a million of, uh -huh. chances are I'm not really going to be seen because there's a million of them. That market is saturated. Mm -hmm. Very low chance I'm going to sell that item. Mm -hmm. um, but if I have something that there's 10 of, we're show you're showing on the front page no matter what. Yeah. So now will organic be shown as frequently as a promoted listing in a search result where someone does not have an ad blocker? Now that's a better question. Mm -hmm. I think that's actually what you were met, Bex, because I know you. Um, that's a better question. Does eBay just always show the promoted listing? I would I would imagine, and this is just speculation, they're probably going to show the, or, the the promoted listing because they get paid more. It for makes it. them money. Yeah. So I mean that kind of makes sense. Now, if you see that your promoted listings are that fee is going way way high, and you want to back off of that a little bit, yeah, that's what I figured. Um, then you know. This is probably a good opportunity to back off of that a little bit as people jump out of promoted listings. Yeah, because people are losing their minds. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So um, I sell, I smell opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, plus size pretty shop. My impressions didn't drop, but the number of listings sold via promoted listings have dropped. Okay, but that tells, if your impressions haven't dropped, then that tells me that people are still seeing them the same. Um, so then you're still showing up in search just yeah. as many times as you always were. Yeah. Yeah, you're just not having to pay extra for promoted listings, which to me is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, through Bay, what percentage? So um, we're not public about what percentage we promote at, simply because that varies so greatly based off of where our business is today, what the item is, what our sales are looking at, what we're able to list. It's not a blanket statement. It's just not a blanket no, statement to me. No, no, absolutely not. And, you know, there's some things that we have that are just very rare. We don't even have to promote them. Yeah, don't they're, they're just They're just showing up on the front page. So... Yeah. Oh, no, don't be sorry. Um, yeah. It's a legitimate question, and it's the exact same question I would have asked. Um but it's just not a blanket answer. Um, selling on eBay may have been easier mentally before I found out about social media. Amen to that. When we just listed, because we didn't know any better. Right. You know, we were just like, oh, I'll just list it. Um, so, yeah, just understand that just because it's happening to one person doesn't necessarily mean it's happening to you. Just because it's good for their business doesn't mean it's good for yours. And blanket statements... Are just that they're just blanket statements you have to test and run and look at those numbers for yourself and know the bottom line for your business can you even afford to put a promoted listing percentage on an item you know do you need to whatever yeah i mean it, that promoted listing fee even at one percent may put you upside down on the profit on yeah item. so yeah um yeah, you need to look at not just the clicks retailer part. You need to look at the impressions. You need to look at the clicks. And then you need to look at the sales of that promoted listings campaign. And is there a reason why people are seeing it in search and not clicking on it? Like if you're getting a lot of impressions on an item, and that's true 
whether it is promoted or not. If you're getting a lot of impressions on an item, but people aren't clicking into it, then that's something you need to figure out why aren't they clicking into it. If they're clicking into it and then they're not buying, that's something that you need to look at for yourself within your own business. Why is my click through here, but my buy rate's so low? What's stopping them? From buying, it could be a lot of things. It could be the yeah. image, it could be the price, it could be the shipping. It could be a lot of things that cause that. Yeah. Um, Tammy Gomez, the late, oh, the lazy reseller, who I love, is my sister and I went to her yesterday and asked her to help me because my sales were way down. Now I know why, how do I? Um, I don't know, because I don't know why she told you uh, they were down. Um, so I don't think that this promoted listing though issue, I know for fact it is not hurting us at all. Yeah, um, us personally. Yes. Yeah. It's not hurting, ad blockers are not hurting our business. Well, one bit. And again, you also ran a poll through the people who you're you're coaching this this month. And it wasn't hurting it, them. It wasn't hurting them either. In fact, their sales were up. Yeah. So. So, um, Tammy, send me a DM, um, and not probably not to, totally being honest. Probably not today because I'm gonna be in the car all day, unless I can get him to drive. Um, but send me a DM, and and we'll talk. Um, always happy to help if I can. So, um, but yeah, if your impressions are up and your click through is down or your impressions are up, your click through is up and your sales are down, that's something you need to look at the, at the listing and see if you can figure out. Yeah. Um, oh no, Sue says we are frozen which means everyone on Instagram has frozen. Hmm. But I don't know if the people on YouTube will see us freeze also, because I don't know how this saves. So we will have to see. But there, we're getting messages again, so we must have unfroze. I don't know. Gotta love Chicago internet. Um, offers to watchers quite often sells as a promoted listing. Yeah. Yeah, we're not freezing. We're not freezing. It's kind of chilly here today. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know why that happens. Vex Relics, it does seem that that is the case. If you send an offer to Watcher, that it sells via promoted listings. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm not saying that I think that promoted listings is this... Um, pure as the white driven snow product at all hmm. that's not what i'm saying at all well and again ebay makes money on promoted listings they're getting an extra percentage from you yeah. if it sells on promoted listings so if they have an opportunity mm -hmm. for your item to sell on a promoted listing that item is going to get pushed yeah i don't I obviously don't know that firsthand. I don't have the inner workings of the eBay algorithms. It just makes it sense. Just makes sense. If I ran a business, that's what I'd do. That's what I would do. Yeah. So. So I can't really blame them. Yeah. Does it stink from the seller perspective that we are now having to pay extra for what used to just be the normal fee? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, if they watched it from a promoted listing, wouldn't the yes, it would. So if so M Grace, this is a good point to make. So you said that you're gonna go in and kill all your promoted listings today, which you should absolutely test. But if it sells for 30 days, if they clicked on it as a promoted listing yesterday, if they buy that item within 30 days, you're still gonna get hit with that promoted listing fee. Oh. 30 days later. Yes, so you still have 30 days of possibly seeing promoted listings. So days. your data really won't be valid if you're running data 30 days from now, and then you could start recording. How many items sold or yeah. didn't sell. Yeah. yeah, which makes it a little bit more difficult to see because, yeah, you're still going to get promoted listing sales for the next 30 days. Hmm. Interesting. Is what it is what it is. It's their playground. They get to make the rules. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and if anything, you know, we have beat on the diversified drum 
for what two years now. Yeah. Diversify, diversify, diversify. Because even though I don't feel like this ad blocker thing is new, nor do I think that that is necessarily the reason why anyone's sales have tanked. Um, this site does do things. And it's it does do things. It does glitch. It does go wonky. It does go sideways. Thousand percent yes. That's going to cause your sales to decrease. Yeah. So if you are 100% eBay, that's going to hurt a lot more than if you are 25% eBay, 25% Amazon, 25% Etsy, 25 yes. 25% wherever. Yeah. 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 If you change the percentage of the promoted listing, Jill asks, after they click, but before they buy, which promoted listings percentage does the buyer pay? Probably the higher one. <laughs> I would assume it should be the lower that from when they clicked on it, but I don't know. We don't know that. And um, honestly, you don't know when they clicked on it, so there would be no way for you to prove one way or the other. Um, Thrift Love Sales. Yes, they are there to make money. Same for Etsy. We promote items that are not fire. I sold a North Face jacket this morning. No promotions. And yeah, Rob sold a $200 dog tattoo kit. With no promotions. I'm assuming there weren't a lot of dog tattoo kits listed. Um, you should have worn the tinfoil hats. I'm running the microwave. It's causing major interference. <laughs> yes, di but diversify. Yeah. Diversify. And then when these kinds of things happen. You've got sales coming in from other sources. Does it still hurt? Yes. Does it still frustrate? Oh, yeah. But at least you're not like. I have to go live under the bridge and eat cat food. Cat food? Yeah, that was on the Reseller Revolution YouTube. I gave that whole story Monday night. Hmm. Yeah, so if you didn't catch that reference. I won't bore you all with it again. Um, so yeah, diversify, diversify, diversify. And then watch those bottom line numbers. Yeah. And don't panic. Don't don't panic just because somebody said panic. Yeah, you you just you just have to run tests. I've heard lots of things from lots of people. And yeah, the worst thing we ever did was to make a major change because of what we heard on the internet. We And we, we've done it. Yeah, oh, absolutely. We've totally done it. Absolutely. We've been there, done that. Holy crud. Huge mistake. Because we didn't test it. We just were like, oh. So-and-so said this. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. And we're all in. So, uh, And it worked for them. It I, wasn't bad advice for them. It was yeah. just not working for us. Yeah. So, yes. Um, Thrift Love Cell says, yes, at least I don't have to draw, drive to a job I hate. Thousand I would still take this roller coaster life. The international sign for roller coaster clearly asha's in the thrift i'm sure she, or in the chat mm -hmm. she actually knows sign language i'm sure she's saying this is the sign for roller coaster yeah, absolutely um but i'd still take this over our corporate jobs we both had corporate jobs and mm -hmm. this every day of the week oh yeah thousand percent yes so much better oh yeah but as we're saying you hear something on the internet you hear it from us. You hear it from somebody else. Test it. Yeah, we're not looking at your store. Test it. We don't know what you sell. We don't know what your cost of goods are. We don't know how far you have to drive. We don't know. Are you picking up rare, one-of-a-kind baseball cards or Lane Bryant sweaters? Mm -hmm. We don't know. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're all unique businesses. Run your operation like a business. Just your business, you, not it, this yeah. isn't fun. This, I mean, it is fun, but it's not for fun. This is fun, yes, it is really. Um, I must not have got that memo. Oh, well, I'll <laughs> put it in a memo to you, okay? Um, so, but this is Lane Brand. No, hey, I sell the Lane yep. Brand too, so whatever. Um, but yeah, so know your business. It is a business. You should be well aware of. Yeah, and if and if you hear a claim and you think, boy, that might be affecting me, run some numbers, run a test, run, you know, 
run small tests. Don't just yeah. change everything and say, I'm going to test it, but I'm all in because that could really adversely yeah. affect your business so also. If, if you're still like, you know what? I watched that video and I kind of think maybe he's right. Mm-hmm. Maybe he is. Instead of maybe instead of dumping all of your promoted listings, you take a portion of them. And you just end promoted listings on those items. And then you watch those items versus the rest of them. Take similar items and see how do they do versus the ones that are promoted. You run your own test with your own items, with your own data, so that then you can make an educated decision on what is working for you within your store with your items. Yeah. Because there's nothing wrong with saying, hey, I think maybe he's right, and maybe you two are wrong. We could be. And, you know, the person that made the video could be selling items that were basically very saturated market where he needed the promoted listing to be at the top of search, and his buyers were all using ad paid blockers. It was that market where whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And it could have really affected his sales. I'm not saying it didn't. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah, not saying he's not right, right either. This is what is true for our store, for our business, for the data that we see from sellers that I have seen their stores. I do know what they sell, um, that sort of thing. No, I did not mention the PayPal thing yet, Bex. Can we just block her? Right? Can we add block her? Um, <laughs> um, PayPal, this is all over. Also, um, PayPal is not refunding your transaction fee when you do a refund. So. But wasn't that already kind of a public knowledge? Didn't they say that that was going to happen? It starts in October. No, it's worded a little bit differently. Um whether or not it's just the 30 cent transaction fee or if it is the 2.9% fee also. Um, This becomes a big issue for people who do partial refunds on shipping overages. So for some reason, you charged your buyer $10 to ship and um, you... The shipping only costs $3. A lot of people then will go in and refund the buyer that $7. But there's a fee issue there. By the way, hearing it is all fees. Um, yeah, or if you get a lot of returns. So we get a return. Right now, we refund the buyer that money. We get our PayPal fees refunded back to us. Now, we will refund that buyer and PayPal saying we're keeping our money. Again, their playground. And if they cancel, yes. And if they cancel, there's been a lot of people canceling. And they have already paid, then yes. You're going to get stuck with that fee. Um, Supposedly, when we go to managed payments, that's not going to be the case with eBay system. Um, But we will see how that all plays out. So, yeah, so be aware that, you know, if you are refunding, if you are canceling transactions, that sort of thing, you are going to get hit with that PayPal fee. So, is what it is. What Again, their playground. Which is what, 3%? Yes. So. 2.9%. So, but that could add up. Well, it could add up, but again... It's a business, so cost of doing business. It is. And we don't have, you know, there's not a whole lot of choice right at the moment. So, mm-hmm. um, but you just have to take that into account. And if you can get 3% more, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, they're flip-flopping on it. Um, they said they were, and then they said they weren't, and then they said they were. I don't know. So, it, yeah, it all... Always follow the money, fabulous, because that's where the answer lies. Um, but we have to get because I have to run all over tarnation, all over tarnation, and then I have a call at 11. So don't panic, anyone. If take a, you take a deep breath, take a deep breath, 
calm. Run tests. Yeah. If you feel like maybe this is my issue, do a small sample test. Mm -hmm. Figure, that's our best advice. Yeah. See how, see how much it is affecting you personally. Yes. Not how it's affecting somebody else because somebody else's sales don't matter to you. They're one, not paying your bills. One bit at all. They're not paying your bills. See how it affects you personally. Yes. Run tests. And then make a decision based off of your data Absolutely. in real time. Yep. So have a great day, everybody. Go fight win. Woo. Bye.